Hello and welcome back to Insane Nightmare. Today, I am going to hunt down books. You see, Trader Jen has had a pretty, pretty dire set of jobs this entire time. If you've been following the series, you'll know just how much of a pain in the ass it was for me to complete Tier 5 to get this SMG and my military armor. So I kind of want to move. So today is going to serve as me going to the other towns that I know about, descending on them like a plague of locusts, taking all the books that I can find to get all of my skills up so that I can get a better vehicle and some better equipment, and it will serve as a means for me to scout out a better location to live, because this isn't going to cut it. So my logical assumption here is I've pretty much eviscerated this little town. Loot respawn is disabled, so pretty much everything I can do in this town is looted and gone. But we do have Trader Hughes town over here, and we have a bit of wasteland over here. It might be worth finding someone in the wasteland. We also have Trader Joel over here, and we have Trader Jen up here. Now, I've been to the Jens and looked and seen where their tier 5s are, which gives me a good idea of where the towns are. I think there's a town here, and I think there's some amount of town in this area here, which is gonna be mostly wasteland, if I remember the map projection correctly. And obviously Trader Hugh has a big old town here, we've seen that. So I think the best place to go first would be to go to Trader Hugh, because he has a lot of warehouse and gas station type POIs around him, which are really good for getting up my skills. I have a bunch of points in intellect for the sake of dating adventurer. If I also boost Grease Monkey while I'm at it, which, why not? That's going to increase the amount of vehicle books I get by a decent amount. So we're going to go over to where Trader Hugh lives. We're going to loot his town for as many vehicle books as I can get. I at least want a motorcycle, preferably in this video. All right, Trader Hugh, first of all, are you selling anything good? He's selling a level five pump shotgun. Oh, and a level five club. Did this just become a money thing? Did I just suddenly... Do I need money? Oh, he resets tomorrow. There's no way I'm getting 30k jukes in one day. That nah. oh that sucks. That must be from Dating Adventurer. Well, we'll come back to him another day. I'm sure he'll have other really good things. I still have the SMG. I can't complain too much. Let's take his fetch that are like really close. I might get lucky and get some crafting magazine bundles while I'm on my little journeys here. All right, here's the POI. Check the mailbox. Big hitters, nice. Reset that. Grab another one. Nice stalker, okay. Ow. I forgot, I still have to be careful. This is insane nightmare. I have to play at least slightly intelligently. Oh yeah, I forgot I got this bow. Ow, that was very poorly timed. Not a lot of book containers in this POI. Oh, a passing gas container, though. That's good. Perfect. I needed one customized fittings, I think. Let's see. Yeah, this is improved. This is custom. This is custom. So now I will have maximum mobility from my armor. 94% mobility. That is pretty solid. I'm only losing 6% mobility compared to padded armor. With no real perk investment, I will take that. There's one more vehicle magazine, as well as a tool magazine, which will benefit me in the long run. It sounds like we have a bit of a wandering horde. Handy land, nice. Oh, hey, Harleen. Ow, I got hit in the back. Why? Grab a quick first aid bandage. There's a whole lot of you in there, isn't there? Oh god. Seriously? Concussion. Does my armor do anything for critical resistance, I swear? I have plenty of painkillers now. They always come at the worst times. There we go. That's something. Two vehicles, two tools, two shotguns. Perfect, you. Thank you. Let me take another fetch. 50 meters away, apparently. We can make level 3 augers and stuff if I really wanted to, but I just don't. Compact shotgun level 3 might be worth making one of those uh, at the end of today, then. Right, well, if you're going to send me that close, I am going to double loot the end loot here. You, you're just making it too easy for me. Nah, well, they haven't locked the hatch, so it doesn't matter. 
quickly run on down here. I'm assuming there's a little bit of a fight for me. Not really. Passing gas containers, yes. These are the good ones. Two handy lens. Well, getting them out of the loot table at least. Lab equipment. I've learned to make recog. Hidden stash. Forge ahead and puffer coats. And then some level 6 padded boots, which are not as good as my military boots as you would expect. Let's head back up here. Restart the quest. I feel like getting the end loot again. I like the little dopamine hit I get from it. Forge ahead again and a plate that I don't really need because mine are all at least that or a banded plate. Hammer book again. Wouldn't mind getting plenty more shotgun books today before I craft another one. That would certainly save me a lot of money. What's this? Oh, I should have looted this before. Alright, keep an eye out for old west chests. They have like silver in them apparently. That's a new container. I'll have a look for those as I go through the POI then. Oh, hey, you're a feral. I got a lucky hit, though, it doesn't matter. What feral? Never heard of them. But before I go back, actually, since he's not sending me here, it looks like, I do kind of want to check this out. Big hitters. One of the classic Alpha 20 tier 1s has been changed. Up oh, bookshelves. I smell profit. Nice, I can body shot some of these zombies with this bow, that's good. Handy land, big hitters. Really getting up there with the clubs. Uh, shotgun weekly. What do I need to get a level 4 shotgun? Six more books? Ooh, I can probably do that, to be honest. And then I'll immediately find an auto shotgun in, like, a quest reward, but it's fine. <laughs> it's the nature of the game. You make something and it's immediately replaced by something better. Ow. He was not hesitating there, was he? Anybody hiding in here? Bookshelf. Pills digest vehicles and medical. Nice. Okay, so they tried to reduce the cheese ability of this loot. That's interesting. Another passing gas container though, nice. Uh, tools digest and another wheel. Anybody down here or is this just... Ah, okay. Oh, so when you come in you can just like pillar up and get to the loot immediately. So it's still pretty easily cheesed. Okay, Hugh. Not bad. I'll take the glue. Don't let this go Another clear Bose market. Cool. We're doing so many different things at once here. Making all kinds of progress. I need to eat some of this food because most of it doesn't even get used in anything later. Don't know how this place is for books. I don't have a pretty good idea of it to be honest. Ah well, there's two bookshelves right there. Probably should have double looted that. You live and you learn. Shotgun Messiah. And Handy Land and two shotgun weeklies. That was not a very successful sneak. I'll definitely need to put a few points in sneak if I want it to work then. There we go, skill point. Let's go for more Grease Monkey. And then I'll dump a couple more points into Dating Adventure. It's not really important to get the third rank of it because I don't have any money right now anyway. Books again. Shotguns, tools. Cool. Ah, oh, the door's locked open. I hate that. How do you lock a door open? It's made of wood. It's not like it's got sensors and shit. That one container. Bar brawler. Okay. Looks like you only get the. Oh, looks like you only get the one crate in this POI, unless I'm missing one. Thank you. No loitering. Ah, that sucks. I'll take the wasteland treasure as one. Buried supplies. We know how I feel about those, so I think I'll pass. Now, if I had dynamite on me, maybe. But quests are not the priority here anyway. So, let's have a look through his town. See what kind of buildings we have. Now, I already looted this warehouse, I think. Mostly. Same with the oil refinery. But this warehouse, I don't think I looted.
Uh, vehicle Avengers, perfect. Okay, why? Okay, I'm either going to fall or the ceiling is going to collapse. Which is it? It's the ceiling. There's a vulture up there. Yep. Shotgun weekly again. Big hitters. A surprising lack of working stiff tools crate in this warehouse. Ah, some moonshine. Uh, vehicle adventures, perfect. Some lockpicks finally, and some stuff I don't really need. Although I'll never say no to first aid kits. They allow me to play like a fish. Now let's have a look for another building worth looting then. Actually, this little, uh, and by little I mean huge radio tower, was very helpful in the other series. When I went to look around the town and see, like, trucks of various usefulness. This is... Oh, some red dye. Branding is the most important part of surviving the apocalypse. Alright, let's climb this thing then. Although I don't have a scope this time, so I'll have to use my bow's, like, weird zoom thing. Ow. What the fuck? Right at the top of the ladder? Assholes. Okay, let's have a look around here. I see a house with some walls. There might be a lot of bookcases in a kind of rich place like that, which could be worth checking out. There's a high school, tends to be a decent amount of books there. There's some various kinds of industrial and commercial stuff over there that might be worth checking out. So yeah, we can go around, check all the mailboxes, of course. Uh, I might want to check these gas stations and these barns as well, because they typically have some working stiff tool stuff in them themselves. So, basically I'm going to loot the entire town. I need to repair this. Let's see, did I loot this place's containers? No, I did not, right. There's usually two in this one, I think. Medical journal. We might finish that today just by chance. Vehicles and tools. Perfect. It looks like getting a motorcycle by the end of the episode is going to be very doable, at least. Something. It's an improvement. Tech planet. This place got any bookshelves? It's not even a full POI. Ooh, it has two bookshelves, though. I'll take it. The Sky Residence. Who am I hearing? That was very early timed. You're a heavy sleeper, huh? Alright, bookshelf one, two big hitters, one wiring, one vehicle adventures. That was a very good bookcase. Two shotgun weeklies. See, when you put like three or four points in these, you start to find two or three of these per thing. There's a passing gas container here as well. I like this place. Uh, two tools digest, that's unlucky, but it all serves to eventually clear the loot table to open up more opportunities for things I want anyway. So it's not too bad. Let's check this other weird remnant POI. It is a house. Spear Hunter, okay. It will take me seconds to check if it's any good, at least. Ah, working sift tools crate. <laughs> Uh, forge ahead. I'll need a crucible soon enough anyway. Pop the fence over to the barn, see what I can find in the loot room. And I one-shot a lumberjack. I can't tell if that was a headshot. That's yeah, still pretty decent. Oh, cool. Two working stiff tool crates. I want to see what's in here. Oh, I don't trust that very much. I was correct to not really trust it. 
forge ahead and a structural brace mod. Right, back into the building here. Oh, that's annoying. Well, I think the loot's mine now. I mean, they all just jumped off, so... They're not going to be able to stop me, are they? I'm 87 of those? Holy shit. Alright, nothing much in here. On to the next building. Ah, it's Moe's Grocery. Ah, some steel tool parts. I actually really need those. I can't seem to find very many of them. Keeps giving me mechanical tool parts. Or motor tool parts, sorry. Ah, forge ahead. Good to know this is another spot where you can get a guaranteed forge ahead book if you're playing on normal loot settings. Shotgun Weekly Vehicle Adventures and add a landmine book, a very helpful one, and just, you know, you don't have to think about landmines anymore. Ooh, Retracting Stock Mod. Art of Mining, I think that's the last one. Unfortunately, completing Art of Mining in Alpha 21 basically just gives you a free rank of mother load rather than anything particularly amazing. It used to be really, really good. But now it's just like, yay, more ore, I guess. Um, This house over here has some very easily accessed loot in the back. Don't you think it would be considered cheesing it? It's just, you know, very easy to get to. Come here, and then there you go. <laughs> With a handy land and some duct tape. Ooh, that's a lot of kitty guys. Okay, so I can one-shot the uh, lumberjacks if I'm lucky. Ow. A pile of books. Bill's Digest, another medical journal. Some more red dye. Shotgun Messiah. Not quite finished that, apparently. Tools Digest, another vehicle thing. I can finally make motorcycles, so that's definitely guaranteed then. And a Steel Club quality too. I'll probably, again, wait till at least level 3 to bother with that. Tech Planet, a scope, and some shotgun stuff. Yeah, just going house to house has been a very good strategy for just leveling the things I'm specced into, even without, without really looking for any kind of specialised containers. <laughs> bookshelves that people have in their houses seem to be a fantastic way of getting these kind of thing. Which I kind of dislike because it means the smartest way to play is to just brainlessly go door to door. It would be nice if passing gas containers and working stiff tool containers were way more, I guess, guaranteed in the respective POIs and that they had a higher chance of actually giving you what you wanted when you're opening those kinds of things, that is. This place might have some books. Ah yes, a bookshelf. Oh hey there, didn't hear you standing there. Ow, that was my own fault. Uh, great heist, cool. Hey, look, there's the first aid kit I used. It's immediately given back to me in a tier 2 PY. Okay, uh, let's go over to Trader Hugh and do more tier 1s for him, see if I can maybe get 4 done. Complete tier 1 with him. Not sure what reward I would take at this stage, but we'll find out. A hey, level 40. I will go ahead and just save that. And I'll put it into intellect to get up to 7. So I can get the third rank of Daring Adventurer. Get myself an additional 30 levels worth of Trader Stage. Right, let me make a little temporary chest here at Trader Hugh. Because there's some things that I don't want to leave behind. But I also don't need on me. And we can come back and get these if I want any of them. Uh, I'll keep shotgun clubs and steel tool parts and glue. Because they will be things I will definitely be hunting down. 
and then let me check the mini bike as well. Right, that is sorted enough. Let's go and see what he has. Let's see. Oh, he's still got a level 5 steel club. If I can get some funds together, that could be good. i got a few days to worry about that now. Otherwise, he doesn't have much I need. Let's do... I'm going to have to do one buried supplies, aren't I? You got any explosives? Oh, he does have exploding arrows, but I meant more like dynamite. Let me go see what money I have. I'll do a buried supplies if I've got dynamite to do it the easy way. 5k dukes. That'll be enough for dynamite. Let's just buy all of it. I'm not really going to try and save for that club. I'm close to being able to craft one from doing this anyway. Going door to door, stealing everybody's books. Let's take his buried supplies then. Now I know I'm not necessarily going to get many books for doing buried supplies, although he could give me a crafting magazine bundle. I mean, this is more just to get the job counter up so that we can get him to tier 2. Besides, I might run into houses like this that I know have a couple of books in them usually. Medical journal, and big hitters, and an ergonomic grip. Oh shit. We survived. There we go. Still taking like 20 damage per hit from some of these guys. Uh, Rangers Gate to Archery. Surprising lack of those. They used to be very, very common. Uh, Handy Land, Claw Hammer, Quality 5. No chance of my bothering with that. Okay, a couple of books. Nothing amazing. Worth a shot, though. Do they have a mailbox around here? Okay, my second question is why not? Weird. That'll probably do it. There it is. And leave. The safe way to do the insane nightmare buried supplies. Okay, I'll just take the antibiotics then. Uh, let's see, he's got some other actual houses though. And that just means I can do these and get tier 1 complete. I needed to do at least one buried supplies to get that done today at least. Ah, it's this house again. We know it has some decent stuff at least. Oh, empty. Oh, that's very unlucky. I don't think any of the other rooms are worth looting at all, so if I just... Let me hop up here. Uh, oh, robotic sledge. I don't really need one, though. Uh, level 6 club and a big hitter is cool. Let's go back to Hugh. Oh, wait, is there any kind of book or anything related in his garage here? Remember. Hardboard box. I got a couple of repair kits out of it, so I don't mind too much. <laughs> oh, level 6 stone axe. Another fucking wandering horde. Every day. Oh, yeah, we would have reset their mailbox as well. Sniper, cool. Um. Another one without a book thingy. I wonder, is there any, like, working stiff crates in here? Ow. I expected to be able to run past that. No, there is not. What about any... workstations? No, is it just a big pile of stone, basically? Okay, fair enough. Onwards to the quest. Before I get to that quest, let me run in here, because the loot room is in that attic and it's quite easy to reach. Also, there's weapons back here. Sharp sticks. Well, that kind of sucks. Hey, bookshelves. This and another urban combat book. Oh, pile of books. Rogam Sire. Surprised I'm not finished that. Okay, no real luck in here. It's this place again. Ooh, Yakuja smoothie. Hey, books. Big hitters. 
the hammer book. Guaranteed forge ahead. Oh, you're still alive. Nothing much in there. Tools digest, we're up to 90 on that now. Yeah. Could have been interesting. It was not. You uh, speak quickly. Damn it. Really bad luck on these rewards. But, you know. Duct tape is also useful. It's not what I'm looking for. But this place might be worth actually double looting. Because there could be some bookshelves in here. I don't know it well enough. To really tell. Some books. Andy land. We can make a nail gun. Fantastic. Andy land again. Yeah, that one tends to clog up the loot table. Okay, it doesn't look like this is a particularly amazing book POI. Big hitters. Yeah, I got a couple of books. Still, I'll do it for the quest reward. And then Hugh can start sending me to some more juicy places at least. Let me restart that and reloot the mailbox. Ow. Their book pile. Oh. Arrow rest mod schematic. Whoa. Medical journal, we can make our own first aid kits now. Oh, hey, a bookshelf. Another medical journal and a tools digest. Oh, hey, a shotgun messiah crit. Ergonomic grip. Nice, I'll actually put that on my nothing. I will hold on to it until I get a club that can hold four things, because I really want all of those things right now. Yeah, that was a bit better for books, because one of the bookshelves actually spawned. Right, let's head back to Hugh. I wonder, does this uh, truck respawn with it? Yeah, it does. Worth checking then. Tools Digest. Damn, again. That's some really bad luck on those. Um, I have a bicycle, obviously. I'm on a mini bike by now. I don't need more water filters. I actually have seven dew collectors and a spare water filter, so I'm good on that. So I'll take his money, I suppose? Got any special jobs? Trader Joel to the West. That's the one I know, probably. Hmm. I could maybe afford that steel club if I use my mega mind. Let's have a look here. Let's see, is there anything in here worth selling? I could sell them the steel club parts because I don't need steel club parts if I'm getting a level 5 steel club. Uh, let's see. There's a bunch of parts I do not need at all, actually. I could sell him scrap, honestly. Like, I can, I can definitely do that. Let me see if he has any sugar butts, though. That'll drastically reduce the price. He does not. He has some awesome sauce, but I don't know if that would save me any money in the long run there. So if I sell you all this Crap. How are we feeling, you? I need another 200 dukes. Well, well I can modify my baseball bat out here and sell him that, and then buy the seal club. There we go. Now we have a real weapon. Honestly, the baseball bat was fine, but, you know, this is really good. <laughs> That is a significant upgrade. Thank you, Hugh. Right, let's keep looking for anything. What, what am I looking at on books here? I've not had a check in a while. So, I'm eight more away from finishing off harvesting tools entirely. I've got enough to get the motorcycle, but not really, not really found any since then, since I unlocked that. But yeah, by the end of this episode, I think we can definitely get myself a better vehicle. And if I can find five more pump shotgun magazines, I can make the pump shotgun. Where can I find five shotgun magazines, though? I've already looted the gun range that's around here, but maybe if we go deeper into town, we'll find something. Those digest. Most of this whole side of the town is actually looted. There's a few POIs I've deliberately left because they're not worth the effort. Now let's cross over to the east side of town. There might even be fresh mailboxes here, which would probably be the best way of going about this. And that one had paper to make me look stupid. Let's have a look in this place. Bookshelves, good sign. You there, I need to test this on you. Ow. 
Fucking hell, you still hit so hard. Still considering that steel armor later. <laughs> Couple of cooking magazines. Right, where was that bookshelf? Uh, two shotgun weeklies, handy land, and a helmet light mod schematic. This place was worth it. Whoa. Okay, so I only need three more. Medical journal, pretty good on that one. Yeah, there's like an upstairs. A working stiff tools crate. Not a bad little remnant, P.O.I. Another tools digest. Let's head down the road a little bit. Mailbox. Shotgun weekly, we need two more. There you are. Bookshelves, yay. Oh, just paper. Anything up here? Oh, some meds. Hm. Oh, basement, hang on. Nothing. All right, on to the next house. Okay, we've been here before. Let's head a little bit east. Er, oh, mailbox, hello. Handy land. We could certainly take a look in here. Oh, boars, hang on. behind me. Fucking abrasion. Book pile. Bull hunter. Ooh. Ah, bookcase. Come on, two shotguns. Nope, just paper. Damn. Oh, hello. Needle and thread. I didn't see what one that was. Where did you come from? See a passing gas container? Right, come on, zombies. Rush me. Oh, just a wheel? Seriously? Tools and one shotgun weekly. We need one more. Medical journal. Shotgun Messiah, but that's not really what I'm looking for. One shotgun weekly. We can make pump shotguns at quality 5. Nice. Right. Well then. I should probably go home, make myself a level 5 pump action, and a motorcycle. I'm gonna need a lot of steel though, aren't I? Let's see. Uh, pump... Action shotgun. I'll need 75 forged steel for that. I don't think I have that on hand. And motorcycle. I'll need 25 and 5. So I'll need 30 plus 7. I'll need 105 forged steel. I don't have a crucible, but I do have a ratchet. So before I head home, did I look this? I did. Let's see if I can hunt down 100 forged steel from a lamppost and lamppost adjacent things alone. I think I probably have like 20 forge steel back at my base, but let's just do this anyway. Ooh. It's a start. Oh, a gas station, hang on. These are also made of forge steel. Okay, we got 25 forge steel. That's enough for my motorcycle at least. This is definitely encouraging me to just get a crucible. How close am I to getting that, by the way? Uh, I'll need another 30 books, basically. That's gonna take a hot minute. But once the minor 69er related books are out the table, I'm sure it'll be a bit easier. I'm about halfway there as night turns, so this is gonna take a while, but it's very, very doable. So, I got a skill point there. I'm gonna put that into intellect so that we can unlock Daring Adventure of Thea later and get another 10 levels on my trader stage. Which will mean I'll essentially be getting the trader gear of a level 70 character, which is pretty good. Okay, so that should be enough steel. We've got the 5 for that, plus 30 total for that, and the shotgun needs 75. So we've got 105, perfect. And we're back. Let me sort out my inventory. I did have steel in here. That's after I auto-sorted that, by the way. I didn't just have another 150 in here, but that's good. I do need a little bit of steel for something later. That'll help me. Got so many electrical parts from that, by the way. And I've got enough polymer here. I'm good. Right, so first things first. Motorcycle chassis. I'll need my steel. Mechanical parts. Duct tape. Leather. And some electrical parts. Cue 
that up. I should probably get a second workbench at some point, but I think it would take too long to craft it. For it to really matter, uh, motorcycle handlebars, I will need a headlight and a little bit more duct tape. I don't have any duct tape queued, but I can make some. And a headlight. There. I need the more duct tape. Craft that. Here we go. Now for the shotgun, I'm going to need five shotgun parts. 15 duct tape, so I'll queue up some more of that. 100 scrap polymers and 15 springs. Pump shotguns queued up. Now, in the interest of speeding this up, I would take five minutes to make a workbench. Would I even save any time? I would save like three minutes. I don't care. I'll just wait. <laughs> in fact, no, I won't just wait. I'm going to make a second workbench for the sake of making sure I can craft things faster next time. I will need the forged iron, and I think I need to ask my forge for some more nails here. Let's get 94 of those, and otherwise that's it, just the nails I need. Here we go, and I will queue up a workbench in my inventory. Here's the motorcycle chassis. Let me also queue up more glue. Oh, you know what? I don't actually have an engine. That is a key ingredient of a motorcycle. Let me go out and scrap a couple of cars and find an engine. Oh, a hunting rifle in a random car. Cool. There we go. This was only the second car I actually scrapped. That's a decent look right there. There's the handlebars. Motorcycle. That'll take two more minutes. I'm assuming my workbench. Yeah, my workbench isn't really going to save me any time this time around, but it'll save me time next time. Uh, I have a tube extender for this pump action shotgun, and I have a choke and one of these foregrip mods. I'm going to take the laser sight off the SMG, and on the SMG, I'm going to put a rad remover. And also, I have a bunch of advanced mufflers I didn't realize I owned. Let's put those on where I can. Oh, and I wanted a nail gun as well, I forgot. What do I need for a nail gun? 16 forged steel. A few mechanical parts. These springs. The duct tape. I got, I've got two glue there and a bunch in here. Three of that. And one singular motor tool part. Perfect. And... My workbench can go somewhere. Let's see what that'll have to do. And we can queue up a nail gun in the second one. My pump action shotgun is done. Let me mod it out here. You do get four slots. Nice. Eleven shots. <laughs> nice. That's with the tube extender, of course. Got a screamer to test it on and everything. Whoa. Lady. Come here. That was weird. One minute to the motorcycle, and three minutes for the nail gun. There's the motorcycle. And there's a nail gun. So, I have a steel club now, I have a nail gun, I have a pump action shotgun. Is there more? What did I just see? I am very well equipped now. The last thing I need is some better tools and we are set. And with that, I think I'm going to wrap up this episode here. We made huge progress here and it was mostly by doing tier 1 POIs and just getting books. But yeah, that's going to do it for this episode. Thank you to my channel members and patrons for making this video possible and thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next episode of Insane Nightmare.